Kim Kardashian received backlash for her appearance at Radhika Merchant and Anand Ambani's wedding over the weekend. The 43-year-old reality TV actress received a barrage of negative remarks regarding the color red's customary association with Indian brides when she posted a number of pictures of herself wearing lehengas. Social media users called her out for her fashion faux pas, pointing out that she was wearing red and that she was trying to upstage the bride twice while attending the newlyweds opulent, star-studded three-day wedding ceremony in Mumbai. She donned four different looks as evidenced by her Instagram posts. Two vivid red looks, one white, and one pastel pink. She and her 40-year-old sister Khloe Kardashian attended the wedding on Friday together in a sultry red lehenga. For the ceremony on Sunday, she wore a daring red ensemble complete with a lengthy train and veil. The creator of Schemes donned a variety of outfits to attend the $325 million nuptials of the wealthy heir, the son of Asia's wealthiest man and the daughter of a business magnate. She arrived in India sporting a glittering two-piece costume for the weekend's opening event. She wore an off-the-shoulder, low-cut bra top with tassels, a matching beaded dupatta, and an elaborately beaded skirt. She donned a pale pink satin lehenga with a glittering skirt embellished with elaborate beading, a long-sleeved coli, and a matching dupatta for the second day of the Ambani's wedding celebration. The Kardashian star chose to go red again on Sunday donning a matching skirt and halter-style top covered in a flowing crimson veil and a beautiful emerald headpiece. She received criticism for wearing red at the Indian couple's wedding in the comments section of her Sunday night post featuring her sultry, crimson Gaurav Gupta costume. In India, it's not customary to wear red to a wedding. One Instagram user wrote in her comments, That's saved for the bride. Another reader added using the face palm emoji, I'm Mexican and even I know you're sick not supposed to wear red to an Indian wedding. It looks very cheap, sick, and not Indian at all, said another critic. Nobody wears red except the bride. One comment said, You should wear something Arabic and red because it's an Indian wedding. Kim was seen interacting amicably with the bride and groom as well as their family, suggesting the Ambanis were unaffected by the criticism of her wardrobe choice. Kim posted another series of photos on Monday seemingly oblivious to the criticism. This time, she dazzled in silver jewelry and wore a white lehenga adorned with exquisite gold embroidery and beading, diamonds and pearls for the Ambani wedding, she said as the caption for an Instagram photo she posted that featured her fourth dress. She appeared to be sticking with her red ensembles as well, sharing another photo of herself from Sunday in what she described as an emerald appreciation post. The businesswoman was seen in the close-up photo flashing off the enormous emerald diamonds on her headpiece and matching ring, which both stood out against her red outfit. She was posed with a smoldering, seductive expression. Additionally, Kim was spotted interacting with young Romy Johnson in behind-the-scenes pictures from the Ambani's opulent wedding celebration. They both grinned as they sat side by side in the photo, with Kim's sister Chloe included as well. Kim was even seen placing her arm around the two-year-old daughter of former Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his wife Carrie, in a charming confluence of showbiz and politics. The little girl, who was wearing a peach and cream lehenga by renowned Indian designer Rahul Mishra, who also created her mother's dress, had quite the moment. Mishra has a sustainable couture company. On her right wrist, she also wore a colorful beaded bracelet. Kim, 43, was wearing a low-cut red dress while her younger sister, 41, was decked up in a gold and silver beaded ensemble. The meeting happened while guests mixed and chatted at the £250 million three-day wedding of Anand Ambani, the richest man in India. In a lavish ceremony attended by a host of celebrities, he eventually married pharmaceutical heiress Radhika Merchant at the Geo World Convention Center in Mumbai. After seven long months of lavish pre-wedding parties and festivities, Carrie, 36, wore a three-piece outfit consisting of a coli, or crop top shirt, and a long skirt called a lehenga. The outfit also included a shawl that was exquisitely embroidered and embellished with flowers. Later, she shared a picture of the long matching shawl on Instagram. Her 60-year-old father Boris wore a black suit and green tie, while her two other children, a four-year-old boy named Wilfred and a one-year-old boy named Frank, were dressed in traditional Indian attire. Priyanka Chopra, Nick Jonas, John Cena, Sherry Blair, and several Bollywood celebrities joined the Johnson-slash-Kardashian family, along with FIFA president Johnny Infantino. The extravagant, 
highly anticipated celebration is said to have cost an incredible £250 million, not including the couple's estimated £100 million worth of expensive wedding presents or the attendance of numerous A-list celebrities who are among the most followed in the world. Additional photos from the wedding moments feature the bride holding hands with her new husband, Anant, while wearing a flowing lenga, an Indian bridal gown decorated with diamonds and a beaded headscarf. Wearing a crimson beaded garment, known as a Nehru, the joyful groom was seen grinning down at his new bride as they tied the knot in a customary Hindu ritual. Police blocked off the surrounding roads for one of the largest weddings India has ever witnessed. The Amani wedding is undoubtedly the biggest in the world, with a quarter of a billion pounds budget, a guest list to rival the Met Gala, and a plethora of previous global leaders having a great time dancing. Son of India's richest man, Anand Ambani, has finally married pharmaceutical heiress Radhika Merchant in a lavish ceremony attended by a star-studded cast of celebrities, following seven long months of opulent pre-wedding parties and festivities that included performances by Rihanna and Justin Bieber and a pre-wedding cruise. Former UK Prime Ministers Boris Johnson and Tony Blair, FIFA President Johnny Infantino, Priyanka Chopra, Nick Jonas, John Cena, and other Bollywood celebrities were among the attendees. While Chloe dazzled in a bold pink outfit, Kim Kardashian stole the show in a traditional lehenga skirt with elaborate beaded details. A select few were fortunate enough to watch the festivities, which are thought to have cost over £250 million, from inside Mumbai's Geo World Convention Center. One of them was New York-based influencer and wholesaler of gemstones Julia Hackman Chafe, who managed to get an invitation to the lavish ceremony as Ori, an Indian internet celebrity. S plus one. The influencer traveled to the biggest city in India to witness the son of the richest man in the nation marry his fiancée, a pharmaceutical heiress. Glamorous Carrie Johnson, her husband Boris, and their three kids were on their way to the celebrations when she changed into another traditional Indian wedding gown. The former head of PR dazzled in a silver lehenga, holding hands with kids Romy and Wolf before switching to an all-white lace gown. Boris, meanwhile, looked dapper in a plain suit with a green tie before changing into a more conventional shower kameez for the occasion. Boris and Carrie brought their three children, Wilf, four, Romy, two, and Frank, one, along with A-list celebrities, political figures, and business executives. All three children chose to wear traditional Indian attire. Boris, dressed in a dapper suit and a green tie, entered the venue with his youngest kid in tow. Later, he greeted other wedding guests and danced the night away with Wilf on his shoulders. Boris was celebrating with other guests when he flaunted his best dad dancing talents, waving his arms in the air. On the second day, though, he dressed more traditionally. Meanwhile, Carrie impresses in a silver lehenga while holding hands with Wilf and Romy. The 36-year-old former prime minister's wife revealed behind-the-scenes photos from the opulent wedding, which featured a massive tiger-shaped flower sculpture inside. Carrie dressed by Bollywood stylist Lipakshi Elawadi, accessorized her silver gown with an elaborately embroidered cape. In the photo, the former head of Tory PR flaunted her toned arms and tummy while accessorizing with multiple rings. Carrie wore her hair partly back in a classic wedding manner and shaped it in soft curls. Influencer Julia, meanwhile, shared a preview of the wedding festivities, ceremony, and banquet room on TikTok and Instagram. She called the ceremony the most beautiful ceremony ever. The influencer arrived at the event decked out in a Manish Malhotra lenga and a ton of Lorraine Schwartz jewelry, the designer responsible for Meghan Markle's $62,000 pinky ring, which was created using diamonds gifted from the Middle East. When Julia and the other VIP guests arrived at the site, bright flags and lights greeted them at the door. When guests first came, a magnificent table laden with flowers and expensive candies, such macaroons, awaited them. Julia couldn't help but wonder. Am I Alice in Wonderland? Julia soon saw a number of celebrities, such as John Cena, Bollywood producer and actor Salman Khan, actress Priyanka Chopra and her singer-husband Nick Jonas, and former UK PM Boris Johnson, who was just chilling. The influencer recorded the Barrett, which is the Indian wedding custom of Anant arriving at the location on a white horse. It feels unreal to see a nod in person for the first time. She remarked, following his arrival, the bridegroom danced with the guests while multicolored confetti dropped from the ceiling in a scene Julia called pure magic. Following that, everyone seated themselves for the customary Hindu marriage ritual. 
Then we sat for the wedding ceremony, the most exquisite ceremony I've ever had the pleasure of watching. Julia remarked. Anant and Radhika exchanged vows beneath a spacious altar adorned with white domes after the bride made her big entry in an electric wooden boat that went along a track. Simply stunning. Julia clarified. Nita Ambani, the sixty-year-old mother of the groom, concluded the ceremony by reading a poem about the importance of daughters. After that, Nita gave a speech about the value of daughters that really sang to my soul. Julia clarified. She embodies brilliance and grace in the purest sense, the influencer said. It was evident that there was love in the room. What a lovely ceremony. We're in a fantastic world, Julia remarked as guests perused the opulent setup, which included an antique shop and a lassie shop, an Indian beverage. Soon after, people began to dance and enjoy live performances as they celebrated the newlyweds. Soon after, people began to dance and enjoy live performances as they celebrated the newlyweds. The glitzy, Highly anticipated celebration is said to have cost an incredible 250 million pounds, not including the couple's estimated 100 million pound accumulation of expensive wedding gifts or the presence of numerous A-list celebrities from around the globe. According to the most recent photos from the wedding scenes, the bride is holding hands with her new husband, Anant, while wearing a heavy cream and crimson Indian bridal gown known as Alinga. She is also covered in jewels and a beaded headdress. The couple wed in a traditional Hindu ceremony at the 16,000-seat Geo World Convention Center, owned by Ambani, and were pictured grinning broadly at their new bride while wearing a crimson beaded jacket known as a Nehru. Before Friday afternoon's enormous star-studded wedding celebration, police reportedly blocked off the area around the site. An unaccessorized with an ostentatious gold logo emblazoned pair of trainers and pristine white pants in addition to the jacket. He had earlier in the day taken pictures with his proud parents, Nada Ambani, the chairperson of the Reliance Foundation, and Mukesh Ambani, the managing director of Reliance Industries. The Ambani family and a host of Bollywood celebrities were among the first guests to be pictured on the opulent pink carpet of the spectacular nuptials. A-list guests like Kim and Khloe Kardashian, John Cena, and former British Prime Minister Tony Blair flew out to Mumbai to witness what might be India's biggest wedding of the year. A pre-wedding celebration called a Sangeet was where Justin Bieber played for guests, for which he was paid an estimated £7 million. Meanwhile, sources indicate that Adele, Drake, or Lana Del Rey will be the entertainment at a reception on Sunday night. Mr. Ambani, 67, who Forbes lists as the ninth richest man in the world at a net worth of £100 billion, has already given the couple a lavish 3,000-square-foot, 10-bedroom mansion on the Palm Jumeirah in Dubai, valued at £62 million. The villa even has its own private beach, a 500,000-pound Bentley Continental GTC Speed and a stunning assortment of custom-made clothing and jewelry valued at millions of pounds were also presented to the couple. The gorgeous pearl and diamond choker that Mr. Ambani's glamorous wife Nita, 60, gave her daughter-in-law is thought to be worth 10 million pounds. It is just one of many custom, multi-million pound items that have been fashioned for her. Anand received a Cartier brooch valued at £2 million. Over the last six months, expert weavers in India have been crafting a collection of exquisite silk saris, each worth over £100,000, by employing gold and silver thread. Along with Kim and Khloe Kardashian, wrestler John Cena, Nick and Priyanka Chopra Jonas, and former Prime Minister Tony Blair and his wife Sherry were present. The extravagant, Highly anticipated celebration is said to have cost an incredible £250 million, not including the couple's estimated £100 million worth of expensive wedding presents or the attendance of numerous A-list celebrities who are among the most followed in the world. According to the most recent photos from the wedding scenes, the bride is holding hands with her new husband, Anant, while wearing a heavy cream and crimson Indian bridal gown known as Alinga. She is also covered in jewels and a beaded headdress. The couple wed in a traditional Hindu ceremony at the 16,000-seat Geo World Convention Center, owned by Ambani, and were pictured grinning broadly at their new bride while wearing a crimson beaded jacket known as a Nehru. Prior to this afternoon's lavish star-studded wedding celebration, police reportedly blocked off the area around the site. Anand accessorized with an ostentatious gold logo emblazoned pair of trainers and pristine white pants in addition to the jacket. He had earlier in the day taken pictures with his proud parents, Nada Ambani, 
the chairperson of the Reliance Foundation, and Mukesh Ambani, the managing director of Reliance Industries. The Ambani family and a host of Bollywood celebrities were among the first guests to be pictured on the opulent pink carpet of the spectacular nuptials. Nick Jonas, 31, dazzled on the pink carpet with his gorgeous wife, looking dashing in a pink sparkly Nehru. Before the big event later this evening, Kim Kardashian went out in her second look of the day, a stunning ruby-red ensemble. The 43-year-old influencer, who previously dazzled in white while riding in a rickshaw with her 40-year-old sister, Chloe, looked glamorous in a high-waisted skirt and a sparkling red lehenga with tassels. The reality personality wore a diamond pendant resting on her brow and accessorized with stacks of diamond necklaces. Her makeup was flawless and her hair was arranged in waves that looked natural. Khloe Kardashian dazzled with a cream and gold two-piece with a matching belt that was elaborately beaded. She paired her face and neck with striking gold jewelry to complete the ensemble. She completed the look with a chic pair of black sunglasses. John Cena wore a sky-blue blazer with silver buttons and a gray floral pattern. He wore white pants and brown leather loafers with the dress coat. Johnny Infantino, the president of FIFA, and his spouse Lena Al-Ashkar were also observed at the wedding. The Lebanese wife of the Italian-Swiss football administrator looked stunning in a fitted sari, while he dressed all in black. On the carpet, Mukesh Ambani was accompanied by his family members, who included son Akash, daughter-in-law Shloka, daughter Isha, and son-in-law Anand Piramal. Kim and Khloe Kardashian, who are sisters, were earlier seen taking part in the pre-wedding festivities. The founder of Schemes made a daring decision by dressing in all white before the lavish wedding. As she and Chloe boarded a rickshaw to go to the ceremony, Kim posted a glimpse of her stunning wedding ensemble on Instagram. The ensemble included a white off-the-shoulder crop top and a matching skirt. In addition, Chloe flaunted her amazing physique in a seductive nude outfit. Prior to the Hindu wedding, both celebrities had been displaced on their foreheads.